2024 started off slow for romance anime, but with a new lineup coming soon, things are getting even more exciting. This is why I'm going to talk about the top 10 best upcoming romance anime you must watch. Let's go. Number 10, the magical girl and the evil lieutenant used to be arch enemies. Starting off our list is a series that's very obvious that it came from a light novel, but what if I tell you that it's not because it actually came from a manga? You see, it follows Miller, the leader of an evil organization that just wants to take over the entire world. However, his plans don't work out exactly as he wants, as a magical girl named Bayakuya, Mimori, fights back. Still, that's not the craziest thing that happens. <laughs> From the trailer alone, I was surprised at how good the animation really was, but it is still depends on the actual series. Although it got me hyped up and I was looking forward to seeing it, it's just like Love After World Domination, but with just a cute magical girl and a lot of rainbows and sunshine. It's only one of our list, and we have nine more to check out, and trust me, the last one will make you stand from enjoyment. Number nine, Gigi Haram. I know a lot of you have felt already really excited about reading the second word of the title, you degenerate. In this series, we have Eji Kitahama, who just wants to be popular in high school, and he has the craziest idea, which is to ask his junior, Rin, to use her acting skills to pretend that he has a harem. My guy is giving Light a run for his money. <laughs> It's set to air in July 2024, and it's being animated by Studio Nomad, which is a new but promising studio that animated another romance anime called Koikimo. It looks like it's going to be pretty warm and mostly wholesome rom-com that focuses on the daily life of the two MCs. This is not a bad concept, especially since the girl is cute too. And let's just see how it goes. Number 8, Atri, My Dear Moments. Lost memory. Now, what does Atri really mean? Well, it turns out it's the name of a girl that was found by our boy Ikaruga while trying to search for his grandmother's laboratory under the sea. Turns out that Itri isn't any normal girl and that she's a robot with a lot of emotions. While this wasn't the treasure he was trying to look for, she's gonna change his entire life. If you haven't noticed from the art style, Atri is actually based on a visual novel game that you could actually play. So this one is for the gamers out there. Just like the first anime we talked about, which had a really long title that I won't try to say, the animation in this one is surprisingly top tier. The entire world also makes me very curious, and it makes me wonder just what this anime is hiding from us. Number 7, Gimai Saikatsu. <laughs> If you know the translation of Gimai Sekatsu, then you might already know what this anime is all about. What is it? It's Days with My Stepsister, and yep, I see that light bulb up on your head. Our boy is one of the luckiest guys in anime this year because he got a new stepsister named Psyche, and as their relationship progresses, it may become more than a step-sibling relationship. This sounds straight up like a plot from that website that has yellow and black on it, <laughs> if you know what I mean. It's going to be handled by Studio Dean, who animated Konosuba and Fate Stay Night, and it's showing in the animation quality. Although it doesn't look super impressive, it looks a lot better than most romance anime. I just hope that it's not going to be too cringe, because it's always a 50-50 when it comes to these types of shows. Number 6, 2.5 Dimensional Seduction. I 
This one's for you out there who think that Redo of Healer is one of the best anime to come out in recent times. The NC here is just like you. An otaku that says they prefer 2D girls rather than 3D girls because they just can't get a girlfriend. Okumura here is obsessed with a manga character named Lilil and he becomes a photographer for a cosplayer who dresses up just like her in a not so kid friendly way. <laughs> This is basically my dress of darling if it was more degenerate, and Gojo doesn't know how to make a dress. This is full on edgy, but it's a good thing the guy actually looks presentable because it would be so weird if he was an ugly bastard. Not only that, there are two girls, so it's double the fun. I can't wait to watch this. Number five, too many losing heroines. So, yeah. Have you ever thought about what happens when a childhood friend gets rejected? Well, this anime answers most of those questions. It follows the story of three girls, all of whom got rejected. You have the blue-haired Anna, who we all know is cursed because of the color of her hair, the cute Chica, and the dark-skinned Lemon. But there might just be hope for them. This anime might be a studio mystery, but you might be surprised that it's animated by A1 Pictures, the same studio that animated Your Lie in April, so you know that it's going to be good. It has a really unique premise because it gives us a new perspective on what happens in romance anime. Although we don't really know the entire plot, I can't help but want to watch it. We'll just have to wait and find out. Number 4, Aoya sometimes hides her feelings in Russian. This is another one that I've mentioned before and you'll instantly fall in love with our main girl. Our girl Alyssa is half Japanese and half Russian and she's so beautiful to the point where most of the people around her don't interact with her. All of them except Masachika and he only says affectionate things to him in Russian thinking he doesn't understand. Or does he? This is pretty wholesome and cute anime because Alyssa doesn't even know Masachika can understand everything she says. It also makes the entire thing even more hilarious to watch too. Her reactions are really funny and the way they actually make Alyssa speak in proper Russian was a nice touch. It's going to be released this July 2024 and it might be one of the top rom-coms this season. And I'm not over exaggerating. Number 3, Megami no Cafe Terrace, second season. Yokoso! Of course, we can't have all new anime because there's a good one that's just getting its second season, and it's none other than Megami no Cafe Terrace. Of course, it's gonna follow up from where the first season left off, and if you don't know anything about the story, basically our boy Hayato inherited his grandmother's cafe, and a bunch of girls were working there. Girls that brought a whole lot of trouble. As always, this has a lot of harm aspects in it, and it somehow even resembles quintessential quintuplets, yet the series doesn't even feel cliche at all. You could tell that unlike Kazuya from Run a Girlfriend, Hayato can actually still be attractive, which is probably why the girls fell for him in the first place. If the second season is gonna follow the first season's quality, then it's gonna be good. Number two, Our Last Crusade or The Rise of a New World Season 2. <laughs> Just like the last one, we have another one that also has a second season. Although it has a season two, this anime is so criminally underrated. You see, in this series, two kingdoms are at war because of how they treat astral mages. Our boy Iska was imprisoned because he freed a witch and to earn his freedom and end the war, he had to kill the Ice Calamity Witch. But fate is gonna play a little game with him. <laughs> If my eyes are real and are not being controlled by the government, I'd say this is season's animation is a lot better than the first one. It's being animated by both Silverlink and Studio Palette and is set to be released this July 2024. This season's about to have more action and fight scenes, which, to be honest, can sometimes make romance a little better. Number one, Kimi ni Todoke, third season. <laughs> Todoke. 
きなの Last but not least, one of the most surprising announcements to come out of this season is the third season of Kimi ni Todoke. This series follows the story of a girl named Sako and her relationship with a popular guy named Shouta. Season 3 is probably going to follow the intensity that season 2 had after a third party tried getting in the way of their relationship. Can they push past three seasons? <laughs> Kimi ni Todoke is number one because it is without a doubt one of the best romance anime ever. Almost everyone loves it and it's pretty wholesome too, but the second season just brought a lot more drama and things got spicy. That's why the new season of Kimi ni Todoke is number one in our list of the top 10 best upcoming romance anime you must watch. 